let's do a, a simple little thing right here in the shop. I write a lot of articles for a long time, and this particular article in my website was created in 2003. And just recently, a structural engineer, Steph, wrote me a letter and said, you got a detail wrong. And so I checked it out with the Canadian Wood Council and really looked into it, and Steph was absolutely right. But let's look at what he asked. He said, the article actually is, what are the nine, and let's, I think I've got that article right here. Is it right here? And uh, no, I don't have it right there. Okay, so it says, what are the nine and three sixteenths inch marks on a tape measure? Well, let's come up here and just look at a tape measure for a minute. As I pull it out, you may be familiar with the fact there's this double arrow at 16 inches. And in fact, that shows up again at 32. And that is used for centering studs 16 inches on center. So almost all your tape measure will have a 16 inch mark. Some of them have this little diamond that's at a strange position at 19 something, okay? Actually, it's 19.2 inches, a, a decimal mark on a, dig, on, a, on a fractional tape measure. But your professional tapes will all have that. When we get out here to 32, there's the 16 inch center mark again. And when we get out here a bit further, oh, there's the diamond showing up some weird place at 38 something. And in fact, you've got to keep pulling this out a long ways. Let's pull this out to six feet, seven feet, eight feet. The diamond shows up at exactly eight feet. There we go, get the glare out of there. So the diamond is there at dead on eight feet, okay? So what is it all about? Well, when you're using four foot wide panels, like putting drywall on the wall, and we want 16 inch centers, that gives us three spaces, or two studs in the middle, that just fit perfectly center to center so we can keep putting four foot panels on. So that works for all things that are measured or laid out by the width of the four foot panel. But some things are laid out by the length of the four by eight foot panel. And so at eight feet is where we lay out our floorboards. They go across the joists on the eight foot section for more strength. So as we go that direction, we could do it on 16 inch centers. Sometimes we do it on 24 inch centers and those all fit perfectly into eight feet. But when we started inventing a new type of truss, which was the engineered trusses, and we should just take a look here at the engineered truss, which I think I have. Uh, no, oh, don't tell me that I uh, dropped that thing away again. Um, let's just go up into here and find the truss here. Um, tape measure. There's the one, that's the diamond. That's the diamond on eight feet. And these are engineered truss. And engineered truss are not as strong as the hard joists. That was the point that Steph wanted to make. And therefore, instead of having a certain number every 24 inches, they had to be closer, they had to be 19 inches. That is to say, instead of four of them, we needed five of them. How do you get five spaces in eight feet? You divide eight by five and you get 19.2. And that's the diamond mark is for engineered floor trusses, okay? And that's what does that. And the article has now been updated. And Steph, thank you, and all of you who do, I get a lot of you sending in minor and major corrections to the articles. That's what helps make the website accurate and useful, is we're not just sitting on it, but you people are helping me. Well, it's almost like Wikipedia. You help build it, and it gets better and better as we go. Okay. <laughs>